What's up everybody? Hey, back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Fox Enduro Launch knee pads. Um, that's these guys right here. So I know I've already did a couple of reviews on some knee pads and I'm still trying out some ones um, that I'm kind of interested in and these came across my path at a very very good price. I only paid like 30 bucks for them but uh, I think I'm gonna have to return them because they're not my size. I think I need a large and these are actually a size medium. But I'm still gonna do a review. I'm still gonna show you how they look on leg and um, on knee, not leg, well leg and knee. And uh, let you just know uh, my thoughts on them. And I think these regular go for 55 or 60 bucks. So if you can get them for like 25 or 30 dollars, then I would recommend them to be honest with you. Um, I tried these on for a little while, warm for about a couple of hours, just to kind of get a feel. Um, and I was trying to make the medium work, but it just starts to feel a little irritable. Um, and I think it's just because they're too tight. But just to show you, um, it's minimum padding here, but it is some padding. Now, here's the thing. If you hit a rock, if you're falling at a great uh, amount of speed, or if you're going down a drop, too hard and you fall off or go over the handlebars, then this is probably aren't gonna do a lot of protection for you, but it will have some protection for you. And not only that, there is a little bit of padding in here as well. It's just not that thick. Um, so I think these will, will help from tearing any skin off or, in, or something like that, but um, it's not gonna give you a lot of protection on impact. So if you hit the ground too hard, and you know you may break a bone or something like that. I don't think it's really going to provide that much protection, depending on what you hit and at the rate of speed of what you hit it at. But it will give you protection as far as the skin is concerned. So these are what I would consider lightweight and very um, light use protection when it comes to the knee pads. Um, it is a one single unit. There's no straps. There's no Velcro. There's no zips or anything like that to actually help put it on. Um, this middle section right here is like a very, very light mesh uh, ventilation area right here. So even though I could definitely tell these probably would get hot in the summertime, I think you would still be able to have some type of ventilation and stay cool. And it looks like this neoprene, yeah, it does have holes in it. I can see it through the light. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but there are holes throughout this whole thing. So even here, yeah, you can't see them with the naked eye, but if you stretch the material, you can see there's ventilation throughout this whole thing. So these might not get that hot, to be honest with you. Um, the Fox logo is pretty cool. This rubber as well. So that's going to provide a little bit of protection um, as well. So let me show you guys how this looks on me. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't know how this is going to actually look from your end, but I'm hoping that it picks it up. If not, let me see what I can do. Um, yeah, I might have to probably put the camera, hopefully at this angle. Let me see, this is the right, no, I need the left first. Okay, so just put your foot through all the way, pull this thing on up, boom. That's pretty much it. Now you can tell it's pretty, pretty grippy and pretty tight. I could make these work, don't get me wrong. I could I could make a medium work. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, medium. I could make a medium work. I got these only because they were half off and the medium was the largest size they had up um, available. So I was like, okay, let me just try it and see. But I really think I need a large. But what's funny is it never fails when I do stuff like this. I'll order, send these back, order a large, um, and then a the large will be too big. And so then I'll be looking back at the mediums. I hate when I have to go through this. Uh, it's just that, you know, my local bike shops don't have all of this different type of gear. I mean, they have a lot of gear, but not all the um, selections that you can find online. So it's hard sometimes. So I pay a lot, of, a lot in return shipping, I guess I can say. But as of right now, with my legs extended, these are comfortable. They, they're not giving me any problems at all. It's only when I start to bend and when I bend right here, you can see pretty much how that extra layer of skin right here is, is being folded up. And that's when it becomes uncomfortable. When I got on my bike with these on, 
it did feel a little bit uncomfortable. I could get away with it, but the problem is, is over a period of time, yeah, this is going to bother me um, if I'm out there for like an hour or two on a trail. So, kind of show you guys how it looks standing up. I'll pull my shorts up so you guys can actually get a better view of these, and I hope the camera's picking it up. If not, I'm going to have to just redo this whole video, but this is how it looks. So they're not, they're not bad looking at all, and I actually like the fact that, you know, it's a pretty simple way to put them on and they hold pretty well. I don't see these slipping at all, but it's just for me, they're just a little bit tight um, in this area right here. So I think I would have to go with a uh, size large. Now the sizing on this, hold on, let me get the packaging right quick and see. Because it probably has the circumference on this one as well. Mm. Let's see, it does not have any type of sizing on here. So, yeah. No sizing on this packaging, guys, and this is what it actually comes into. Again, this is the Launch Enduro Performance Knee Guards um, from Fox. So, it says lightweight all day, pedal friendly comfort. And again, these would be comfortable. I could definitely tell these are comfortable if, um, if I just had a larger size in them. But yeah, this this fold right here from the upper and bottom layer of my the back area of my knee, yeah, this is this is uncomfortable, man. So if I'm this skinny and my legs are, you can see my legs are skinny. Um, these are probably I would probably advise everyone to size up. To be honest with you, um, my POCs are, are mediums, and so um, yeah, this one right here I would definitely need to to size up. So. And that's the way it is. Different brands have different sizing and fit differently. So other than that, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, little look at those particular pads. Um, I'll let you know if I go back and uh, and, and upgrade. I mean, not upgrade, but upsize to the uh, to the large or not, and let you know how those fit. Um, but right now, the larges are out of stock, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get them in that size. But other than that, if you have any questions about them, let me know. But uh, definitely, if you're looking at for some lightweight knee pads, I highly recommend these. My video, my battery just overheated for no reason at all. It's not even hot in here. I don't know what's going on with these GoPros, man. But anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps out. If you're looking for some lightweight knee pads, these are good to go. Check out my other videos on my other knee pads, the PLCs and the race face ones. I'll catch you on the next video. You guys be safe. Talk to you later. Peace.